<laughs> oh man, guys. So, I didn't sleep very well. Go figure. So I got to make a decision. Do I want to go get coffee or not? Because they close at 6 o'clock. So if I want coffee, I gotta go. And if I don't... Well, I'm gonna finish this episode, so... I mean, and it's 5.07 right now, so... I mean, they only, they're only a couple minutes down the street, so it's fine. It's cool. It'll all work out if I decide to go. But I don't know if I want to go, because if I drink coffee at 6 o'clock at night, I'm probably going to have another hard time sleeping, which, you know, it might not make a difference whether I drink coffee or not at this point, but we'll see. So as you can see, I demolished some of the smaller buildings, and I made a living complex. And I made a larger farm. Um, I took the four or five smaller farms, which housed 28 plants, and made four farms that held 81 plant or 80 plants a piece. So I easily tripled my crop output. Um, I lost all my miners; they all died. And I lost all my knights; they all died. But I gained another tree cutter dude. A lumberjack, and I gained a cleric. So it's not that bad, I guess. So now we're gonna go. I'm having a hard time getting. Okay, so it keeps saying that um, nomads can't find this place, but the merchant always finds this place. So I don't understand how that how that works. Uh, I did get one nomad since I started building all this. So I don't really know what's going on, but hopefully we can get some more nomads because I want to do, I plan to turn this, I might expand it a little bit, but the bare bones of this building back here, I want to turn into a school, this one, which I, I might have to make it bigger. I'm not sure what the parameters are for a school. I opened up this one, which it gave me a farmer and a in the lumberjack because they were trapped in here so I I did that and I unlocked this one I want to make this one the smithy and then I'm probably gonna take all this out here and I'm probably gonna make this another six person home more than likely and then considering my miners keep dying I'm thinking about somewhere down at the bottom in the mine I'm gonna put a guard uh, like a guard tower but it's gonna be more of like a guard house if, if I can make those parameters fit. Um, now this episode, I want to do... I got all kinds of interesting things from the uh, Illuminati pet. So, like, I have generators now. But they're, they're the more difficult ones to use. Uh, I got the soul generators, which um, take, uh, like, bones and skulls and I think the dragon egg. And, well, I'm not, like, you know, super into, like, bone production, so, um, I don't, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Now, I do, uh, not that way, that way's the bad way. Uh, that way's cleared, I'm pretty sure, so we're gonna go check that out. What I do want to do, though, before we get into that, and besides spamming this Illuminati pet like a madman, uh, this is the last run of the Illuminati pet, by the way. Um, two more, two more of those, and that's it. Uh, simply because I need to save up 42 emeralds for a school, and that's something I'm going to do. Um, I made this, and I made my little clock thing here, so I can, you know, process things out a little bit quicker, like various things. I made new armor, and I, and it's the, it's the normal armor I did: lead trim, steel plates, and uh, bronze core. Uh, so it takes bronze to heal it, and but it still has all the armor toughness of steel, and it has knockback resistance of lead. And then I took um, the in-bar, or my bone broadsword, and I changed the handle for bone from, from wood to bone. I changed the guard from bone to electrum, and I changed the blade from bone to in-bar, because I had extra in-bar. So, that, that's, that's my reasoning. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking out the um, Everlasting Abilities mod. Because it is, it, it's a little overpowered. Like, like I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm going to like it. Like, I might change it. Maybe I could just change in the configs that you can only have one ability at a time. Or maybe two. Because, I mean, here, here's what I got. 
and I barely did anything so far except mess with the village. Ignore jump boost 4, that comes from the spider. But I got speed 1 only. I got strength 3, I got resistance 3, I got regeneration 1 and haste 1 permanently. So that might be a little bit overkill. And I'm probably going to, maybe I'll change it that you can only have two abilities at a time. That, that's a possibility. But, um, let's make the Necronomicon. I got this too, a block of stormy crystal. I got a bunch of different crystal stuff. I got a block of flower. But, that's besides the point. And I can't melt the bronze horse armor. It won't let me. So that's just gonna sit there forever. But let's make a necro... Necro... Necronomicon. Okay. What's the difference between... Okay, one's full, one isn't. Alright, so we should be able to just make this. And this will give us... Um, some of the opening stuff to Abyssal Craft. So, Forbidden Knowledge... Um, here's the stuff we can actually read up on. Patrons, of course. Hey, it's... Teddy here. Anyways. Um, so... Um, we, we can now read up on Abyssal Craft. And I think it'll even unlock some of the things I have in here. So if I go and type in at a soul. Now, okay, that's not. Okay, maybe nothing is. <laughs> maybe nothing's quite unlocked yet. But uh, we now have this as an extra like to get us kicked off in the in the thing. Outer Gods, Greater Ones, I think this is pretty much going to tell us, um, like, about Cthulhu and the other gods of choice in this mod pack. Shub Niggerath. Shub Niggerath. There, there's a good one. The Abyssal Nomicon. Overworld, Materials, Entities, uh, we already ran into some of the Entities. Uh, which we got to work on that, but I want to work on the on getting um, a floor machine or however you do that. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to look up some more about this because I thought it would unlock things as I read it, but apparently that's not true. And we have to get more statues. But we're the point of this episode is pretty much to kill time. XP bottler, huh? Something else we could throw in here for now. Um, it's pretty much just a kill time, because I don't really, I don't really have much of a plan, like, I want to get into power generation, I want to get into abyssal craft, I want to, but I really want to clear out this, this, this place. Oh, and I have a backpack now, like another backpack, with night vision potion. Um, I got two backpacks actually, both from the Illuminati pet. So we got, you know, the purple one, and then the one I'm wearing, which I was going to change to the purple one, but I just don't feel like it. So we're going to make sure this one's clear. But I'm pretty sure it is. The only thing that might be back here is, like, lava monsters, which I'm not even sure about that, because I thought I... Okay, it doesn't look like I, I stole the lava, so... There can still be lava monsters here. Okay, that's a little better, a little bit safer. I don't want to waste too much of the pickaxe, because I don't have a lot of obsidian as of yet. So, I don't want to, like, be snagging a bunch of stuff whenever I'm going to need to be... Oh, these guys are pain. 94 health? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I took out his ability to do, um... Instability, so he doesn't have his abilities, so he can he can be supercharged all he wants. Now I do want these.
Now, I hear a lot of enemies, but I ain't seeing a lot of enemies. There's a skeleton. Oh boy. Okay, let's uh... I wonder if I can melt down the cauldrons to get the iron. Oh, no, we'll worry about that later. Uh, I come through here whenever I'm expanding. Does this guy not have... Is that my... Did I die here? Apparently, but I didn't lose anything. That's kind of weird. I wonder why I came back here with nothing on. Unless I... Unless it was when I died... And I came to get my stuff, I died again. And that's why there's a... A tombstone. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the minerals and stuff, and all the different things. Um, I think I'll snag all the bookshelves right off the bat, but like the cauldrons and stuff. We'll come back for it whenever we actually want it or need it. Right now, this is about securing the first floor in its entirety. So that I can start setting up a power generation room or something. I don't know. There's something to mess around with. Or, um, in particular, Abyssal Craft is going to need some space. Maybe I'll make a room for Abyssal Craft. Okay, this is actually, I think this is probably one of the parts I go into to open the presents. It doesn't look like there's anything in here except for crafting tables. That's kind of disappointing. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get so freaking lost. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with that. We'll just leave that the way it is. Mm, hey, Fritz, let's grab some cobble. That, right? It looks like it's open on this side too. Oh well. Why am I on fire? Okay, let's just get away from that. Um, I can actually use that as a lava source at some point. And I think we found our first spawner. Look at that. Are these guys getting tougher too, or am I just getting weaker? So I got a, a morb, or a florb, or whatever it's called, and I thought I could fill it up with lava. So I went and clicked on the lava with it, and it threw it into the lava. So I lost it. And it was one of the good ones, the reusable Signalium ones. I got it from the Illuminati pet. Like everything else is cool I get. It's pretty much from the Illuminati pet. I don't even know if I want all these bookshelves. Pretty ridiculous amount of bookshelves.
I was really expecting to find more treasure chests, if we're being honest. I guess I did find like five at the very beginning, but I mean, you'd think they'd be spread out all through this place. At least with me lighting it up as I go, I can like kind of keep tabs on where I've been. What they need is to actually have a map of this place. I think that would make my life a lot easier. It's not looking anything good. I wonder if there's anything hidden somewhere. I I seen that uh, Wesley's crap. Another chupacabra. I seen that Wesley's um dungeons have like traps and stuff. Okay, you can die now. And I seen that his dungeons have like traps and stuff. But I'm not like I'm not seeing the traps. So, which is kind of a good thing, I guess. But at the same time. Uh, it's kind of the reason I downloaded this mod. Oh boy. Doesn't matter, they can't even actually hurt me. Because all the freaking buffs and stuff I got. Well, that's not true. If there's enough of them, they'll, they'll get me, but. This new armor, though, is pretty good. Come on. Crap, another one. Oh, there's another one. Man, they're really they really are out to get me. Alright. Grab our lutations. Ah, oh, great. Oh, great. I, I don't know, but I kind of feel like this sword might be weaker than the bone sword. I mean, it should be an obvious upgrade, but I feel like it's taken more swings to kill these guys. Okay, let's, uh...
All right. That was a bigger deal than it had to be. See if we can actually put some junk away before they come back. I guess that'll do for now. Okay, I'm guessing that's one of the places I've already been. I guess we should probably grab these treasure chests before I miss them all. Oh my god. That's a lot of lootations. Let's see. Boy. Okay, so let's uh, take this one. And let's add that right away. An MRE. I wonder if that's from Vanilla Food Pantry. Let's just store freaking everything. Okay. That's reasonable. Now we can get rid of the stone sword. I can't think of a single use for that. And I already got like three stacks of this carpet. So let's get rid of that to keep some space. So we'll get rid of these three things and we'll take everything else. And then we'll uh, pack in these guys right away. Alright. Should probably break the chest. So that I don't come back and be like, oh, look, a chest. Yeah, I picked up that junk. That's what I get. I, I deserve that. A cinder? That means there's fire on the other side of that wall. That's a nice simple one. A diamond, a piston pusher, and I think an ender bag. Should have made a bow. I got probably would have made sense. That's a funny way to hold an arrow. Okay, we're gonna put a torch there so we remember that hallway's there. I'm not even gonna look inside these chests, I'm just gonna break them all. And we're full. We're full already. Alright, let's, uh, break that one. Let's see what we can get rid of. I guess, ultimately, I don't really need, um, the leather stuff. I mean, I'm gonna have plenty of that when the time comes. So we'll get rid of the leather stuff. And I'm hungry. Where is my food? Here it is. All right, let's let's eat before I get side blindsided. By the way, these things don't really heal very much for being uh, food. 
that takes so much preparation. Okay, let's uh, go back into here. Let's get rid of all this leather junk again. Simply because I just don't, I don't have the space for all this. Um, I guess we're keeping that. Let's go into here and get rid of this and that and the carpet and the leather. And hopefully we can pick all this up now. I used to keep the music discs, but I'm not I'm not even doing it anymore. I don't think there's an actual purpose for them, so I'm just not. Well, that sounded awfully close. So it is, uh, it's been snowing around my place a pretty decent amount. Ooh, what is this? That's a funny looking copper ingot. That doesn't look like the normal copper ingots. Okay, let's check out these totems. Hunger and speed. Step assist, speed, hunger. So let's take the speed ones and we'll just plug them in right now. And we'll get rid of this one. And... Now I have like speed three. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, now if I have this with a chicken pet, I wonder if they compile. That would be really fast. I'm having a feeling that they don't, they, that they will not compile like that, like they won't add on to each other, because that'd be like speed 7. Just gonna take a quick little whip around here and make sure I didn't miss anything. I see you over there. You did. I didn't know you could burn bookshelves. That's alright, this gives me blaze rods. Wonder how they spawned in here. Oh well. I only got one blaze rod. What a freaking cheapskate. Alright, let's go back that hallway and see what we can find back there. Uh, here we are. I'm down to three freaking torches already. That's alright, I think I just picked up some coal, so... I got some planks somewhere, which I'm pretty sure I don't, but if I find some... By, like, chopping down a piece of wood... Then I can make some wood, so let's, uh... Let's do that real quick. couple more torches to keep us going for the rest of the episode. Let's, um... I don't like this way this lighting thing happens, because then I want to throw down more torches than I need. I think this way is... Yeah, we've been here, so this is one of the other hallways. So I'll throw a torch here. I guess we'll go this way, then. And this looks like... This looks like a mob spawner... Or one of the vanilla mob spawners. Kind of got caught up in this. Let's do that. So we have a little bit of. A little bit of know where we're going. Was I already here? It looks like I was already here. I was already here. I blocked this off. Uh, this is the other side of uh, the one place I was at. Oh no, this is my mine shaft. I bet you anyone has my mine shaft down there. Haha, -ha, my mine shaft. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's uh. Uh, I need more room. I guess I could use the Ender bag.
Is there anything else I can stick in here? Probably not. Well, that works. That's good enough. We're gonna drop off some of this junk. I probably could have just took that staircase up and then started over so that I don't get lost, but it's it's fine. We'll just do that. It's cool. Alright, let's, uh... Are these torches down here? I knew I accidentally broke into this mine shaft at some point. I don't think I went all the way through it, though. Or at least, like, not like... The whole area. Like, this whole area. I think I only did, like, where I blocked it up at, and that's it. They don't see me. They see me. This guy has a potion on him, or an ability. I think, I'm pretty, they must have made their hitboxes smaller. Or I'm just getting worse. Just add this real quick. Might as well keep, keep it up, right? Okay, that appears that we got most of that taken care of. I had a feeling that there was a wall behind here. So this way, we can keep on exploring. And these guys can't seem to fit through a two-block hole, so... That's, uh, that's a benefit. I still hear zombies, though. Now this is, this is poor design right here. That's, that's all I have to say. Or maybe it's supposed to be like a hidden bookshelf idea. What else can I ditch? Um... Stone sword. I want the books, not the boots. <laughs> now we're back in, we're back over here. Alright, well, I'm a little bit Okay, I'm a lot a bit lost. Um, so now we're back in this hallway. See anything else? It's dark. This one's dark. And we're ooh doors. Oh, uh, it's gonna light me on fire. Wow. Room with a view. You're kidding me. There's not even like a no. Who does this to people? I got- I was legitimately excited. Uh oh. I don't think I'm getting a coffee. It's 5.42. I could end the episode, throw on some pants, and go get a cup of coffee, but I don't. If I drink a cup of coffee now, I'll be like, I'll stay awake all night. Which I don't even understand. That never used to happen. And again, I never used to feel like garbage after I stayed up all night anyway. The worst part is I didn't even, I didn't even been drinking.
Like, that's the worst part. Oh well, whatever. Okay, looks like we cleared this out pretty good. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can find our way out of here. I'm kind of feeling like we pretty much got this. That's going to be the opposite way. I want to go this way. And then probably this way. I'm following the map. Just, just, just in case you guys didn't you know, realize that. Where's my pickaxe? Oh, there you are. I was... I was worried again. Uh, don't ask me why I did all that, I just kind of wanted to see, if, I, I guess they just kind of made a bunch of tunnels and put them all together and called it a dungeon. And back at my base. When in doubt, break down a wall. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's store some of this junk, hit the Illuminati pet one more time, and then I think I'm going to call it the end of the episode and watch some garbage on the YouTubes. There should be something halfway decent on right about now. It's almost 6 o'clock, so there might probably something that's, you know, worth watching, maybe. Probably not. It's YouTube, where even the professionals are morons. All right, what does that say about me, right? Well, yeah. what does that say about me? It says that I'm going to be hungry and coffee-less for a while. Um, so I want to throw... Do I want to... Nah, you know what? I don't need iron. I'm going to give this all to, uh, to the village. So we'll, we'll keep a hold of all this. Actually, we'll combine these, because... Well, why not? And now I have blast protection, and more blast protection, and pr more protection. And I think... I don't think... I don't know if the iron pet armor is going to work. Oh, it will let me melt it down. Cool. It won't let me do the bronze, which makes me wonder if it's going to let me use the bronze on, like, um, the Lycanite's mobs. There's a strong possibility that it won't let me. And I just messed up. Okay, let's, uh... Or, take this... And we want to type in raw, and we'll take these, and let's go and go into here, and do this, 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 and this. And this is kind of like my routine after I go on an adventure. And that does that. Uh, let's open up the Christmas presents. I did, like, 20 of them off camera. I love how they say holiday gift or winter gifts. Like, I can't believe so many people take it so personally. Like, the whole Christmas versus holidays thing. Like, it's, I, I don't think it's really the point. I think it's more of, you know... Everyone's supposed to be happier, not controversial.
I am stuck here to that tree dies now. Alright, looks like we got some peak kebabs, which is well worth it. Um, emeralds would have been great, but peak kebabs are alright. They give me haste. So I even have more haste. Uh, now I don't have any freaking stone. Great. Freaking great. It's all you guys' fault. I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I missed one. I didn't miss one. They dropped one when they... I don't miss things. I'm a man. Emotions are overrated. I don't, I don't know. I'm just talking to talk. I, uh... Oh, don't open that one. A bulwark burger. That's, uh, free absorption for like three minutes. I don't think it's quite as good as a golden apple. Or a notch apple, but it's still pretty good. Oh man. Oh boy. Let's do this. Let's see, what do we have going on here? Titanium plates. And chupacabra meat. Which I do need to find jungle wood. So I might do that off camera too. But if I go into generator, see I have the upgraded soul generator and a simple soul generator. I won't even use this one. I'll use the upgraded one when it comes time. Um, it will... It, it'll give power, but I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Like, I don't, I don't... Like, my bone and head collection isn't very good. So I have four wither skulls. And 121 bones. Like it won't it won't last long. And I'm not sure what else it I'm not sure what else it really takes. Oh, it takes eggs. That's interesting. I mean it's not a fantastic amount, but it does it does take eggs. I could do a chicken farm. Necrotic bones. Bones ain't too bad either, but actually they're they're pretty bad. I wouldn't want to use bones, but I think I can I could start a chicken farm and then set up some sort of hopper thing and have it have it collect eggs. I mean, I can put a whole bunch of chickens in one block square, right? I mean, I mean, I've never really did too many things like that, so I could probably I could probably manage that. Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to start a chicken farm, start a power generation process. Uh, keep an eye out for nomads. Uh, that's something I'm not going to be able to do on camera, because they're so scarce. And uh, I'm going to get into, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the floors and stuff, so I can steal nomads and stuff like that. That's yeah, all kinds of junk. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see very many new developments in the village, and I hope you guys can, uh, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good night.